Further inside the ovary, the walls of the ovule, called integuments, begin to form a seed coat around the developing embryo and the endosperm. The embryo consists of three major parts, the root, the shoot, and the cotyledon, or seed leaves. Cotyledons absorb food from the endosperm and transfer it to the rest of the embryo. A seed may have one or two cotyledons. A plant that produces seeds with one cotyledon is called a monocotyledon, or monocot. A plant that produces seeds with two cotyledons is called a dicotyledon. There are significant differences between monocots and dicots beyond the differences in the number of cotyledons in an embryo. For this reason, one of the major divisions of angiosperms is between monocots and dicots. About 65,000 species of angiosperms are monocots, while 170,000 are dicots. Monocots tend to have broadly spread out fibrous roots, while dicots tend to have more vertical tap roots. The vascular bundles of monocots are spread out throughout the stem, whereas those of dicots are arranged in a ring around the stem. External differences also exist between the two types of plants. The leaves of monocots are usually long and narrow, often described as strap-like, with parallel running veins. The leaves of dicots, on the other hand, tend to be oval-shaped with an intricate network of veins. Perhaps the most visible difference between the two types of angiosperms is in their flowers. The flowers of monocots always have three petals or multiples of three. Dicot flowers have four or five petals or multiples of four or five. 